Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Europe Universalis 4 together with the newest DLC, Rights of Man. We're playing on very hard difficulty with Lucky Nation set to historical. Welcome back. We are at war with not only Genoa, um, the Knights in the Papal State. Uh, that war is basically over, just sieging down the last holdings of the Papal State over here. Um, but we're also at war with France because France attacked Aragon and I decided to honor my alliance with Aragon and actually go to war with them. So... That's a thing. Um, I think these guys might get smooshed over here. These 20k, I doubt that they'll be able to hold out against uh, 54,000. What are your stats? 3, 1. Yeah, that's not really a thing. The biggest problem is that we don't really have our own allies in this war. We're just an ally of Aragon, uh, which is a problem because that means that only our own troop count is in there. Um, we have way less troops. We have 100,000 uh, infantry less, although you have to um, take into account that the Antilles have 82,000 uh, French La Plata, French Peru and California do have troops, so you can basically take away 100k here. And we can all bring all of them to bear in a round that arrow. The French troop quality is pretty good. We have no manpower left, which is definitely a problem. Um, not sure what we're going to do about that one. Um... Yeah, we're losing some military access. What I should do, I think, is I'm going to make these guys to be... I'm going to turn them to be supportive and to stick to certain armies. I'm just going to allow friendlies to attach over here. Let's see where we can where we can get that right time. These guys are following. Now, we had Swedish troops. Yeah, over here are Swedish troops coming after us. That's not good. I doubt that we'll be able to get in there in time. 23rd. No, these guys will be killed. Yeah, okay. No, we gotta get out of there. <laughs> Let's go. Could I go over there? No. No, that's no, that's not a thing. So, we'll go into Charolais. And we're gonna send these guys just to Nevers. It makes no sense. I won't be able to save them. Um, you can go into Bougon, you know. Because that's a huge stack. Cardinal exposed. The Cardinal in Bourgogne has been rumored to be of weak character. He's been exposed by Anhalt. Okay. Guess Anhalt is able to do something like that. We are losing troops. No, we aren't. Okay, we, this place can actually support 65,000 troops. Uh, and I guess we will be able to support these guys. Uh, at least in a moderate fashion. Now, I do have to siege down Paris. That is of paramount importance. There's nothing uh, nothing we can do here in the north without taking Paris. Oh, and they are moving they are moving on Paris. Okay, that's that's fine then. I'm gonna send my troops in there. Try to try to help my, my sieging party there. Um, we'll be there at the twenty first. Um yeah, this is actually not going too well for Sweden. Sweden on its own is not doing too well. Let's bring these guys out again. Okay. Yeah! That must have hurt. That must definitely have hurt. This is a Siege 1 guy. Um, this is a Siege 2 guy. That's our, our Emperor, basically. Let's bring you down to Charolais. Come on, chop chop. We do have more troops than they than they can bring to bear. I just have to hope that my sieges there win. And I also really need to get um, the Papal States out of this. That's that's a big problem. <laughs> that I have the Papal State in the in that thing, and uh, we're not really able to do anything in there. There's going to be a battle between Aragon and the Palatinate. Why is the Palatinate fighting Aragon? That's what I want to know. Fighting Aragon, but in what? Aragon, Geonese, Imperialist War. Mats occupied by Aragon. Okay, yeah. You, just get out of there. Come on, stop attacking my allies. Mm. We're being attritioned over here, but only very little. Um, the siege is not going forward, though. So that's a bit of a problem, and they won't be they won't be reinforced anytime soon. Let's see who's our best siege leader. 
the Saxon the Saxon core and that's the Burgundian core over here that's a O3 siege leader and that's our three siege leader I mean I guess it's fine I guess I shouldn't pull them I guess I shouldn't pull them off we're just gonna exchange the armies over here put that put that big stack on onto Paris we still haven't managed to get a breach in Paris even that's not gonna be good so we'll move these guys out and our other stack will start and we won the siege of Avignon that's very good very good actually let's try to smush these guys this is our best general by a long shot Let's try to take Provence. Um, I wonder if they won't be willing to see, if they won't be willing to see reason now. Um, sue for peace. No, I don't. I don't want you to return Cremona and Milan, and then I want you to return Treviso and Venetia. Venetia. Nearly there. I'm not gonna go without that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave without these um, concessions screw you then ally in war length of war current piece of it's gonna give me a crap ton of aggressive expansion but on the other hand oh well <laughs> oh well let them come I'm gonna bring these guys out we're losing because they're fully defensive so Having extended um, amount of troops in there is not going to be a good idea. There are 30k, uh, 35k of the French. Let's let's try and stop them. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll try to take them out over here. A truce with Milan has ended. Um, that's fine. Let's move these troops in there as well. Might not be a good idea, but oh well. We'll see how it goes. Um, Poland has started influence nation on Saxe-Lauenburg. Okay, yeah, we're doing fairly well. I don't want their armies to combine, so we do have to smush this group completely. Um, I wonder if we would be able to go after this group as well. I think we should, although they have a three-star general on it. Um... Yeah, I don't really want to. I really don't really want to commit on that. Let's try. Maybe we can catch them in Bourbon. We're sieging that one down. It's gonna take us a long while. That's a level nine fort. <laughs> it needs twenty-seven thousand troops just to siege it down. Or maybe one of the others is actually um, a better thing. No, come on, Papal State. Give up. Just give up. Roll over and give up. Well, they're not willing to do it. So, I'll try to catch that army over here. Looks like we'll be able to do that. Come on. Uh, maybe we can wipe them. That's gonna, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna drive up their war exhaustion quite a bit. They're not doing anything up here. Well, gotta bring these guys up to Bourgogne. Bring these guys to Chocolet. That's the Imperial Guard. So we won the Battle of Languedoc. And these guys are dead now. I could just go to Narbonne. Try to siege that one down. I'm not sure that's gonna help me much, though. I mean, it is a three siege leader. They do have a crap ton of um, castles and stuff, though. Diplomatic insult. We're gonna try to ease the tension here. Because why not? Doesn't cost me anything. I really don't need the CB. It's not important. Um, we're losing some troops here. Friendlies can attach. We're gonna allow friendlies to attach to this one as well. Come on, guys. Don't attach. And then... Come on. Don't attach. Yeah, the other one... Because the other one is... Um, more hurt. So I won't actually mind. Yeah, bring you over. Bring you up. And then we're gonna bring you down to Chevrolet. We do have to see John Paris. There's, there's really no way around it. Uh, if we can get Lyonnais, we're also gonna be in a good in a good spot. Um, Genoa really wants out of the war. Um, uh, we're not quite there yet. 143. Papal State holds Rome. Really? They 
Oh, are you no longer in a war with... Yeah, you're only in a war with me now. The other guys went out. But I do have a war breach here, so I cannot commit anyone. So, I think what I'll do is... I'll send these guys down to take Roma. That might be enough to actually take him out. Um, I could also just commit Milan. And, yeah, that might actually not be a bad idea, because Milan does have the troops to do it. So, I'm going to send you to Siege. And I think we're going to commit the Teutonic Order to Siege down as well. We're going to send the Teutonic Order to Siege down this. Um, so, will they go? Yeah, they will go and uh, do that. So, that's fine. So, I can keep my troops in Charolais. Try to make sure that nothing happens to my sieges in the area. I mean, you could say that it's unnecessary... Oh, crap. We're going to lose the wall breach if we try to help the Aragonese um, army over here. But we have to. Let's just wait until they're committed. Let's wait until they're committed. Now they're committed. So I'm going to send in my own troops. And we'll try to keep the wall breach. That's got to be a thing. Once we take out Lyonnais, we'll be able to take over that whole area. I'm just trying to micro this. Okay, so now we've got 90,000 fighting that one. We should be able to dispose of that Swedish stack. It's going to take them a long while to actually move troops back. I'm not sure I can chase them down, though. They didn't get stack wiped, so I guess that's a bit of a shame. We have a disease outbreak over here. No, they're mar marching further south. I doubt that I'll be able to get past them. We're going to merge our troops again, but at least we didn't lose our wall breach. That's something. And uh, looks like... What are these Milanese troops doing? What are often arrive in Draguignan? Really? Why? Well, I guess I gotta take this in my own hands. I guess my vassals aren't capable enough to do this. So I gotta march one army down. Which is gonna, which I'm gonna miss up here, but so far it's not too bad. We need 40,000 men. I guess I will have to go and buy some mercenaries then. Okay, that's fine. Um, they're sieging down Languedoc. Let's just try to take Languedoc. Each um, place that we take will drive up their war exhaustion. Now, what do we siege down next? Should it be Port 2? Or Cahor. That's level 8. That's level 8. Both are nasty choices. Hmm. I think we might wait. Although, I mean, waiting will not do as much good. Let's try and go on both, actually. Let's try and take both. And maybe we'll fight the, the group in Port 2 as well. We do have a war breach over here. We're losing. Why are we losing? Oh, we lost Valencia. That's not good. That's not good. That's going to give them a ticking war score. Uh, which I don't relish. Yeah, I guess we've got to bring our troops to bear here. I guess that's how it goes. Yeah, let's hope that Aragon actually joins. That would be good. And we'll be able to outnumber them, but that's not saying much against the French troops. You can come out um, as the loser, even if you outnumber them 2-1. to one. We won the Battle of Ancona. So that's a thing. There's some um, an Aragonese army. Yeah, This really couldn't have come at a, at a worse time, actually. And we have the Genoan army up there, sieging down Aragon. Is Aragon still... Oh, Aragon is still fighting Genoa. Yeah, and they don't really have the resources um, that they can bring to the fight right now. So that's a bit of a problem. Let's see. Yeah, okay. My vassal should actually be able to siege that one down. It's going to take them quite a while. Fort level 7. Uh, might actually not be possible for them to do that. So I'm going to send... I'm going to send my cannons in. 
maybe the cannons will help them to siege that one down. So let's do that. Um, this battle we seem to win, but we're gonna lose a lot of soldiers. A lot of soldiers that I couldn't really afford to lose. Okay. Um, siege specialist, Karl von Seckendorf. The guy that commanded this, well, I guess it's fair enough. Now the problem is we're gonna lose a bunch of our bunch of our regiments. So I'm gonna take these guys and we're gonna merge them. So we have four, which means I have to build 17. Where's the other army? Go away. Merge you guys. So the Imperial Guard needs 17. Uh, but the Imperial Guard is the one that's gonna do the sieging here. And these guys, um, let's just take the infantry here, merge them. How many do we have? We got 10, so these guys need 11. That's fine then. Who's who's marching down there? Not the Imperial Guard, right? Yeah, Felsewacht. Okay, so let's bring the Felsewacht down here into Cahor. So, uh, 17 and 11, so we need 28 mercenaries. So, let's go and take another loan. And then we're going to start churning out line infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then it, I think it makes sense to start building here again. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So these guys are gonna Take up the um, take up the staff. Peace offer from the papal state. Are you guys finally ready to give up? Come on, just roll over and give up. It would mean much to me. Nope, they're not gonna go. They're not gonna do it. 155. I guess we have to siege down um, Rome. It doesn't make sense. Why would they give up if they're still controlling their their capital? Now at least we have a wall breach in here and we have a good siege leader. Otherwise, I don't think this would even be possible. Um, these guys need 11, so I'm just gonna grab 11. That should do it. That's 12 armies, so one less. Right, that's 11 armies. So send these guys into Cahor. And I'm gonna send the other ones into this uh, thing. I'm occupying Umbria now, which is fine. We still have the expanded supply trains. This is moving forward okay-ish. I mean, we don't have enough. Oh, actually 16 is the um, threshold for gaining the plus four bonus. So we'll at least give my armies 16,000 after the war, when I have manpower again to actually do something. Right now, we're very down the drain. We need 30,000 men. Well, it has already been worse. We once needed 40,000, but we're going to pay through our teeth for this. And I doubt that I'll be able to go for a separate peace against uh, France because that would hurt the trust that Aragon places in us um, pretty severely, I think. Okay, so that is... Those are all the troops coming in there. That's fine. Let's just merge them. So you got your, your 20... Oh, you got 22,000 now. Okay, gave you one... Gave you one mercenary too much. Okay. And then... We got the other guys. Take away the big armies. And we got 18 armies. No, we built one mercenary too much. Well, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I guess I miss... I guess I miscalculated that. So you can you can actually keep these mercenaries. That's fine. You're, you're low on numbers anyway. Well, yeah, we do want to siege that one down. I mean, that's not really going to help us. Aragon sieging down these armies. But at least um, we got a war breach in Paris now. So that's good. We've got a war breach down there. And we've got a war breach in Port too. 
So that's that's very good. Makes me happy. There's a big French army. Our influence over the Platinum has expired. Yeah, we're not going to continue that one. I do have the Teutonic Order with High Liberty Desire now. That's not good. We have to placate the local rulers. I'm going to do it one more. Could also pay off the debt. I'm not sure if that's going to help me. Oh yeah, I have to keep them loyal. Milan is also looking to get uppity, so placate local rulers. It's basically because my um, my army strength is down so much, and that's not good. Well, who are they going to attack? Who are they going to attack? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. And I guess we're going to find out in the next episode. I think I'm going to end it here. Let's hope that we can actually get the Papal State out of this war in the next episode. Um, looks like we'll be done sieging down Roma down here. So that's that's a thing. Let's hope that we can get them out of the war. And then we'll, then we'll take some land from Genoa. And then we'll be done with it. And we can finally fully concentrate on France. I'm looking forward to that very much. If you enjoyed the episode though, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.